hi guys in this video i'm going to tell you about the reactive form that how you can implement uh, how you can uh, make the validation inside a reactive form so let's get started so first of all in goes to the app.module.ts file and imports reactive form module and form module these two things now after importing that uh, module just go inside our component in which i'm going to write a code for our form so first of all i am declaring one variable test form and form group this is the name of our form name of our form uh, which we are going to implement inside our application and just goes into the ng on init sorry i'm just writing it okay just go inside the ng on init and just take this variable this dot test form and uh, now what uh, what we have to do is that we need to import a form builder so private form builder form builder form builder it is a inbuilt module inside and you are just right to import it form builder and now we are going to import that private form builder because all the properties come inside that variable so this dot form builder dot group this is the way to declare reactive form inside on g on in it now i am taking a three variable which we'll call of name name email and address so name email email and uh, address sorry address now let's come inside the HTML file this uh, this is the model and it's working fine so now i'm just copying and pasting that so don't we have not to waste the time for that now i am importing a form group it is a pop property that we have to declare for uh using the reactive form form group now we have to give that name to the test test form group that we have declared inside our ts file test form test form no let's see that this is coming and it's working fine okay now dev now form control we have to write one other thing form control name which will take our value from that uh, from this text from text field to the ts side form control name we have to give that same name that you have declared name let's see again let's go to the move to that okay ts file and now we have to write one function on submit because on clicking that function that will that will submit our form value so on submit this dot test form value this dot test form value now we just I'm just writing console.log so that see that what we are getting now we have to call that function ng submit so we have to write that function that method then just submit and we have to call that function on submit uh, let's write something in the text field and let's again inspect cons on the console see that we are getting the value of whatever we are writing in that inside the text field 
now let's write the another another value of it Ronaldo. I'm just writing a Ronaldo randomly thing I'm writing so we are getting that thing now we have to make three more div for the email and address for two more divs for email and address so I'm copying in it pasting it div again div now I'm just changing that name you have to just change the name only so email email address email and we have to just give that name address okay so that's it now now what uh, now just go inside the test.component.ts file and I'm writing the function for getting the form control inside that function get test for validation part I'm just doing that thing test form control and I'm getting all the control and all the values control of all the values inside the form this dot test form control and just controls now we have to write one more thing that validators so we need to import the validators for making the for getting the validation for the form validators dot required so we have import the validators and validators dot required validators dot required inside that email also and inside address field also and for the address validators dot required now we have to write a code for our validation so i have already taken a spawn class text in danger ng if you have to give the condition if condition ng if condition inside that class now we have to take that test form control control of the name so i am just copying the test form control for validation of the name test form control dot name dot name dot touched if our form get touched and or assign for the or condition or submitted if we are submitting the form without typing any of the value if our form get touched and it gets submitted without entering any value so that is that validation and and condition we have to give that and our test form dot control where control dot name <laughs> if having any kind of the errors dot required means if we have not write anything inside that text field so it will give us the message name required if we are trying to submit or other we have touched that we without entering any of the value so it will showing us the show it will show us the message name is required now let's go inside the now we have to just copy and paste one more thing that thing validate form feeds it is a so you have it is a function so you have just copy and paste that thing and I have just changed one thing form control now come inside the on submit now we have to make condition if this test form if that test form is valid test form dot invalid so we have to just call that function validate all form fields this dot test form control test form control sorry this dot 
validate all form fields and inside that we have to take that test form control this dot test form and return false okay so it will not allow us to submit our form values until and unless we are we are not uh, we are not giving the validate validate uh, values inside that form so i'm just copying that no for as sorry for the email validation we have to just do that thing validators dot required because uh, we have to also show on the validation whether the uh, email is valid or invalid so validators dot required hash validator dot email spawn so we have just copying and I'm pasting inside and we have just changed that from name to email and from name to email all things must will be same you have to just change that part name required so all all thing is sorted i think and all thing is good and now we have to change that name to email is required again we have to write the validation for the validate means valid or invalid email on class text danger text test danger ng if condition to write equal to double what comma no we have to just copy that test form dot email dot test and and test form dot email dot error if any kind of the error related to the email so it will give us a message that it is an invalid email so let's check it okay enter valid email address okay now we have to again just write a validation for address so I'm just copying it and pasting and we have to just change that name from email to address so email uh, sorry address submitted and email to address dot address okay now address is required that's it address is required so we have completed that part now we have to check that thing now when i am writing that any of the value inside that text so or there our validation required validation is getting disappear from that now i am writing the email so i am not typing the valid email here and you can check that that they are that it is giving us a validation message that enter a valid email address so i am just adding it at the right of gmail.com now it's not giving us any kind of the error now i'm submitting the value and i'm getting all the values on so thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe my channel and uh, please share it subscribe my channel thank you bye bye